It's that time again, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 9. We are not doing this as fast as I thought it would be possible. Uh, but fuck it. Yeah, maybe. So, when we last left our hero Mega Man, he was on his way to go kick Splash Woman's ass. Oh, Maggie Man, you shouldn't hit a woman. Well, fuck that shit. Equal rights, baby, am I right? Ah, fuck. Disclaimer. Bushi Gaming does not condone violence against women, or violence against anybody, for that matter. Okay? Where's the love? The love. The love. Okay? You guys need more love in your diet. Eat up. Okay? You need some more black eyed peas in your diet so that can tell you about love. Wordplay. Okay. Okay, so, um, in the near future there might actually be some more members of Bushi Gaming. I've been talking to people who I play instruments with on a regular basis. So, uh, I play the trombone, because I'm in uh, the band at my school, and uh, they, uh, they know about what I'm doing here, and they just, they thought, oh sweet, let's do it. So join them. Okay, so these platforms are annoying. How do I? Okay. Alright. I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it. Got it. Boom, 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 boom. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. I had the right idea, I just fucked it up. Now I'm gonna have to start all the way over. We were basically at the end of that level too. Even the boss is a fucking pushover if you have the B-Gun. The Hornet, whatever. I'm just gonna keep calling B-Gun, cause fuck you. Oh my. Ah, fuck man. You're making it, you're making life real hard for me, man. Now what will society think? The police officers. What will they do to me? Fuck. I fell for it again. Making jokes about racism. <laughs> I don't know if that's karma, but if it is, fuck you. Stop stalking me. See, I dated Karma in this joke. It wasn't a very good joke. And she wasn't a very good girlfriend. Always trying to give me some kind of comeuppance for things I've said or done. Jeez, just like, let me have some of this shit, right? What a bitch, am I right? She was like best friends with like Mother Nature too, cause and together they would be the biggest bitches you've ever seen. Always making it fucking snow. I realize I live in Minnesota, but come on guys, everywhere else it's fucking spring. And I have to deal with your bullshit. It's like, okay, we're gonna have a week of 70s. 70 degrees, like, the whole fucking time. And then... And then all of a sudden, it starts snowing the next day, and then the next few days are gonna be really fucking cold in comparison to the days. Like... I feel like Minnesota is one of the only places 
that this shit is allowed. Like, Mother Nature just does not care. Like, seriously. 70 degrees, and now we're in the 30s? The low 30s? Like, no one's, um... That, that just doesn't happen in other places. Like, we live in... I live in a state in which it hurts your face. The cold hurts your face. The air hurts your face. Why do I live in a place where things hurt my face? It's funny, I have an older sister. She used to live with us, duh. Uh, now she lives um, with other people. Uh, with her partner in freaking Texas. And now, um, she's been living there for a while, so last time I went to go see her, it was like, what was it? It was like 70 degrees, but 60, 60 at least. Okay. okay. Someone like me that's like, okay, break up the shorts, all right, we're, we're having a fun time. This is really good weather. For her, though, I was like, oh man, it, it's really chilly. You know? Like, come on, man. Texas is really nice. I was probably gonna go to school there. Because at San Antonio, whatever it is, the University of San Antonio, they have so many awesome places. Like, there's one side of the school that's called the education side, and the other side is called the leisure side. And on the leisure side, it's like a whole new city, but, you know, it's not. It's like gated community um, dorms, if you want to call it that. They're all apartments, all of them really fucking nice apartments too and then you have like bullshit like the fucking gym there like the gym has a damn lazy river around it a freaking lazy river around it. and then inside the gym it's like really big and you're like thinking oh where's the track right where's the track the indoor track where I can run oh well guess what look up that's right, it's suspended above the air in a figure eight formation. It's fucking crazy. Before you ask, no, I don't know why I didn't go here. There. Why did I stay in Minnesota? It's a good fucking question. I can't answer it. Well, no, I met some good people here. I was born and raised in Minnesota. Man, I love this place. It's really, it's really cool. You get used to the winters, and I do like snow. It just needs to fuck off sometimes. All right, got the laser trident. This is we're sort of breezing through this game now. Our momentum stopped a little bit, but now we're on concrete, man. The last guy before we actually storm Wily's castle. We should be able to get through this in the next few minutes. So then I'm gonna stop the episode when that happens. So. All this shit falling at rocks and birds and cannons, oh my. <laughs> Alright, so these things are annoying. When you're on their, their same level, they uh, move faster, but you can shoot them to temporarily stun them, so that's good. Alright, jump, jump, boo. Uh. Alright, so, easy little mini boss. They're like, it's there to show you, oh hey, look at that, you know? Like, look at that, you can, uh, oh fuck. That's where I wanna be. 
Like, you gotta get used to how they roll the ball at you. Now we have holes. So now you understand how it works. You now have to avoid these extra obstacles. Good job! You avoided the extra obstacles. Yay! Get banned, you fucking... There we go. Okay, checkpoint! Screw. It's blown up. So the waterfalls, there's shit behind the waterfalls, I can't tell. Uh, if you can tell that this thing is slowing down, well it's not slowing down, it's just turning around at that weird square. That means there's a hole there. So, I want to avoid that. Shoot the guy through this wall. Make your way up. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright. Something I can do there. Or there. I'm just gonna run now. I'm killing motherfuckers left and right. As soon as you fall off screen. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Damn it. Alright, I don't want that screw, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the extra trouble to get it. And luckily for me I got that extra health thing. You got a screw. Screw. Screw, come and screws with duck. That was a really stupid joke, I'm sorry. I apologize for that one. Alright. So we're doing alright. Alright. Let's do a change of pace and actually change into the thing that we're gonna need before we enter the boss room. Alright, Concrete Man, you ready to get fucked up? Not like, as in, like, going to drink together, because I, I, I don't want to do that with you. You don't seem like a cool guy. You're not very nice, always trying to smush me and shit. Fuck her. Fuck off. Are you fucking kidding? Alright. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I'm cool. That is fine. That is fucking fine. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. You know why? Because I'm about to fuck this guy up. I'm not even mad. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it. Get fucked. Run into that shit. Well, fuck you. Fuck your concrete. Bullshit. How was I supposed to dodge that? Fuck you. Fuck you. Bitch. Piece of shit. God damn it. So I did it. Yay for me. And we did it within the allotted time. And now we have the concrete shot. Yeah, we fucking did it. Now we're gonna save. So now we have all the powers we need. Yeah. And now in the next episode, we are going to be going against Dr. Wily. Alright. Thanks for tuning in, folks. This has been yet another episode of Mega Man 9 Bushi Gaming Let's Play. It's Boy Juju, signing off.